In this video we want to take a moment to remember the lives of some of the most memorable and beloved members of the Contours who have passed away. For those who may not know, the Contours were an American rhythm and blues vocal group formed in Detroit, Michigan, in 1959. They are best known for their hit song, Do You Love Me, which became a hit on the Billboard Hot 100 in 1962. Sadly, over the years, the group has lost some of its talented members, and we want to take this opportunity to pay our respects and celebrate their contributions to the music industry. On our channel we feature such videos. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for such. Let's take a look at some of the Contour's most memorable songs. 1. Do You Love Me? One of the Contour's most well-known songs is, Do You Love Me? Released in 1962, the song was a huge hit and reached the top of the charts. The song's upbeat rhythm and catchy lyrics made it an instant classic. Do You Love Me? has been covered by many artists over the years, including the Beatles. 2. First I Look at the Purse, another popular song by The Contours. Released in 1965, the song was a hit with audiences and helped cement The Contours' status as one of Motown's top acts. The song's catchy melody and humorous lyrics made it a fan favorite. 3. Can You Jerk Like Me? is another classic Contours song. Released in 1964, the song was a hit with audiences and became a staple of the group's live shows. 4. Just a Little Misunderstanding is one of the Contour's more soulful songs. Released in 1966, the song showcases the group's vocal talents and ability to convey emotional depth. The song's lyrics are about the pain of a broken relationship, and the Contour's heartfelt delivery makes it a powerful listen. 5. Baby Hit and Run, Baby Hit and Run is another one of the Contour's more upbeat songs. Released in 1965, the song was a hit with audiences and helped solidify the group's reputation as one of Motown's most popular acts. Members who have passed from Contours Dennis Edwards Dennis Edwards joined the Contours in 1967. Prior to this, he had been performing with several other groups in Detroit, including The Temptations. Edwards replaced Billy Gordon as the Contours' lead vocalist and helped the group transition from their earlier doo-wop sound to a more soulful style. With Edwards at the helm, the Contours continued to release hit songs throughout the late 1960s and early 1970s. Some of their most successful singles during this time included, Can You Jerk Like Me, First I Look at the Purse, and Just a Little Misunderstanding. Edwards' powerful vocals and energetic stage presence helped make the Contours one of Motown's most popular groups. On February 1, 2018, Dennis Edwards passed away at the age of 74 in a hospital in Chicago, Illinois. The cause of death was complications from meningitis, a potentially life-threatening inflammation of the membranes that surround the brain and spinal cord. Sylvester Potts Sylvester Potts was born on January 22, 1938, in Detroit, Michigan. In the late 1950s, Potts joined a local singing group called the Satin Tones, which included future Motown stars such as Marvin Gaye and Bobby Rogers. In 1960, Potts joined the Contours, a Detroit-based vocal group that was signed to Motown Records. The group's lineup included Billy Gordon, Joe Billingsley, Hubert Johnson, and Billy Hoggs. The Contours quickly gained popularity with their energetic live performances. However, their success was short-lived, and the group disbanded in 1968. He also worked as a security guard and a truck driver to support his family. Sadly, Sylvester Potts passed away on January 6, 2017, at the age of 78. The cause of death was liver cancer. Joe Stubbs he was born on June 13, 1941, in Detroit, Michigan. He grew up in a musical family, with his brother Levi Stubbs serving as the lead vocalist for the Four Tops. Joe himself had a passion for singing and joined the Contours in the early 1960s. The group was known for their high-energy performances and hit songs like, Do You Love Me, and, First I Look at the Purse. Tragically, Joe Stubbs passed away on February 3, 1998, at the age of 56. The cause of his death was lung cancer, which he had been battling for several years. Hubert Johnson Hubert Johnson was born on October 28, 1941, in Detroit, Michigan. In 1960, Hubert joined the Motown group The Contours, which had already released a few hit songs. Hubert's powerful voice and energetic stage presence quickly made him a crowd favorite, and he became an essential member of the group. Hubert Johnson's powerful vocals were a significant factor in the song's success, and he played a pivotal role in the group's subsequent hits, such as Shake Sherry and First I Look at the Purse. Hubert left the group in 1964, but he returned in the early 1970s. 
The Contours never achieved the same level of success they had in the 1960s, but they continued to tour and perform. Sadly, Hubert Johnson passed away on July 11, 1981, at the age of 39. His cause of death was heart failure. We will always remember Dennis Edwards, Sylvester Potts, Joe Stubbs, Billy Gordon, Hubert Johnson, and Billy Hoggs as some of the greatest musicians of their time. Thank you for watching, and may they all rest in peace.